Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and coffee. Mm. The weather is finally turning a little chilly here. I'm going to light my candle. I got this at Aldi. I love it. It smells so good. And then the, the next one is cinnamon clove. This one is like fall. But I just love when my house smells good. Don't you? All right, guys, this is going to be a giant for me Dollar Tree haul. I found some fun new stuff. Okay, candles lit. Coffee is hot and it's chilly. It's a rainy, chilly fall day. And I say that, but it's gonna be in the 80s all week. So there's that. Okay, here we go. This is in no particular order because these are just how they came into my house. I found this. This is a wreath decoration kit. So you would get the wreath form at home, you know, somewhere, and you would put the Santa in the middle. And I don't think it comes with a sign. I think you have to, yeah, so you would tie this to the wreath and then you would put a sign in his little hand or however you want to decorate it. And they had snowman and Santa, which his nose, his nose is off center. I can fix that. <laughs> okay, um, just some drink mixes to have around the house. Oh, and so, Sarah, if you're watching this, don't watch. Um, I'm putting together, so every year I do an advent calendar for my niece and now for her fiance. So what I think I'm doing is a December 1st box instead. So I'm putting together a themed box and then, um, I'll give it to them on December 1st and then they can use all the fun Christmassy stuff all season. Uh, but I found these, these are freeze dried, um, I think they're supposed to be Skittles, but they're freeze dried candies, which is fun. So I got these to go in that into their little thing. Um, I picked up this hat, this little fun little beanie cap, toboggan, toque, whatever you call it. I think this is going to go, I've got two different ones, but I think this might go on the stacked pumpkins to make a um, snowman for the hat instead of doing a, you know, the traditional. So I got this and it has the cute little pom-poms on it. Um, so that is for the pumpkins when Christmas rolls around. And then I picked up, they have, they're getting all this Buckeye stuff in, which is logoed. I'm just shocked to be honest with you. Licensing is not cheap. Let's just tell you that. And Ohio State and other professional teams are not free and easy with their logos. So to find this kind of stuff at the Dollar Tree is just shocking to me. But I grabbed two because I think at Christmas, wouldn't these be fun to build a gift basket in? I mean, I know it's probably a popcorn bowl or something, but I thought it would be fun to have for some of my Buckeye fans to build a um, gift basket. So I just grabbed these. I got some other Buckeye stuff as well. Okay. Next bag. I found, where's the other one? Here it is. I found, go, I'm really obsessed with ghosts this year. I don't know why. I found some ghost lights. That could be our thumbnail, right? I found some ghost lights. They are solar. I don't know if you can see that. They probably need a good charge to them. How fun is that? And if you didn't know, this pulls out of the bottom and then you stick this into the ground in a potted plant, wherever you wanna put it. I just thought this was super fun. So I need to get the stickers off. I won't mess with that now. And I'll put these in my front flower bed in October for Halloween. Hi, Wellington. Do you want to say hi? Ugh. Yeah, say hi. No, we don't. Okay, be gone then. 
He said, no, ma'am, I don't want to say hi. Um, I grabbed this random. My bed frame is broken and I'm going to fix it. And I needed a piece of wood and I didn't want to buy a full piece of wood. I just need this size piece. So I can, I will have to cut this down, but is it cost effective? No, if you need a whole piece of wood, but if you just need a little tiny piece of wood, it's dollar 25 is very cost effective for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I got this for no reason other than I thought it was a very unique shape. It's an oval, just a plain old piece of wood, craft wood in the oval shape. And I just thought it was fun. So there's that. Um, I grabbed some duct tape. I use this for certain things. I'm not 100% sure of all the things I use it for, but I didn't have any when I went looking for it. So I bought some. This just goes out of my um, garage with my stuff, you know, like your tools and things. Um, I saw this, this is a green briar. It is the most unique little thing I've seen. It's a little box. You take, you it has an elastic that goes over the bead. Like how fun is this? It's long, like it's got a mesh back here. So it, anything you little treasures I'm assuming you can paint this it's like bamboo and then this elastic goes over the little bead it's like a little treasure box could be a fun little sewing kit too I just thought it was cute I wanted to show you um I'm trying to keep some of the certain items together to show all at one time. So we'll do that. I'll put them next to me. Okay. Next up. If you saw my DIY. I got this black felt. I'm going to tell you this roll felt is terrible. I wouldn't buy it. I mean. I may end up using it on like a double thickness. But it's very thin. For like the eyes and stuff. On when I make the snowman. But I would say just go and get the sheet the sheets at like Joanne or wherever not there um I picked up these little paper cups and you get six of them so I'm going next month to Canada for a retreat but on the way I'm stopping in Kelly's Island and I finally saw a video which I think is what my cabin I say cabin very loosely people what my cabin is going to look like and it has two sets of bunk beds no linen it has a chair or two and it has a dorm size micro fridge which is fine i just need it because it's heat i don't have to pack a tent and it's where i want to be so it works but i wanted some containers i could heat things up in the microwave that's i think i can microwave in these if not, they're still disposable for like food and stuff to eat. And I have paper plates, but I didn't have any like bowl sized vessels and it's going to be cold. So I was thinking bringing some chili or something to have for dinner one night. So I just got these. I can heat the chili in the microwave and pour it in here and eat it. But disposable and um, these are biodegradable because they're paper. I just picked them up because I saw them. Okay, and then I, I got this. I saw somebody do a DIY with it. I need to see if I can get this out. And then she put a taper candle in it. Not in here, and it wouldn't be something you would burn. It's just for looks, but I thought it was cute. I grabbed one thinking I, I would do it. You never know. I mean, yes, can I get that out? Yes. So you take this out. She glued her candle right to this, but I think, I don't know. And it was really cool looking. But there's lots of stuff you can do with this shape. So I grabbed it to craft with. Now, I'm a huge candle person, as we just discussed. I found these. Now, they are a dupe, sort of, of the Bath & Body Works ones. I have these around my house because like I said I love candles but these would be for the smaller candles but look at they're a fall leaf 
I just thought they were really cute. There were only two left in the store I went to and I've only ever seen them one time. Now they do bend, actually there were three in the store, but one of them was broken. It was banged up, like mushed in. But I thought these were super cute. Um, and I do all different candles all over the place, so. There's that. Um, oh, also what's in here, oh yes. More stuff, more stuff, we're over here, over here. Okay, then I thought, I found these. I love these little um, basket or rope bowls, but look at this one, it's gold. How cute would that be for a little gift basket for somebody if you're just doing a little, bake them a loaf of the little mini loaf of bread and put it in here or like banana bread or apple bread or put some cookies, like just stack a row of cookies in a cello bag and put them in here and wrap this up. Like, I think it's a great little neighbor gift as well. I may have to pick up some more because I like that idea of putting cookies in here and giving it to your neighbors. So, I grabbed this. I wanted to show you. So, this actually will go into my <clears throat> gift basket container. Now, I grabbed this because these are eyeglass. Um holder situations, right? They hold your eyeglasses. But I've been making like charm necklaces and things and also charm on the end of chapsticks. And I needed, I thought this chain, it will be perfect to kind of take from this and use it for crafting because this chain is super unique and I love it. So I bought this strictly for all this chaining that I can take apart and use for crafting, like I do. So that will go in my craft room. All right, I think I have everything here. Okay, in my lap for little gift ideas. How fun would this be wrapped around some actual Twizzlers? And then maybe like, or in that basket with the little warm winter socks, some actual Twizzlers, and then maybe like some lotion or something. I just thought these would be a perfectly good little Christmas gift if you have little gifts you need to give, or even if you're giving like a gift card to somebody, you could slide the gift card in there, roll this up, put it in a little bag with some Twizzlers, and I'm sure they have other flavors, I would assume. I only saw the Twizzlers at my store, so I grabbed them because Christmas is coming and I like to give little gifts. I bought these because I wanted to do a little craft with them. I don't know what, but also gift card holder. Put a little bow on this. You can slide a gift card and maybe like some candies down in here and you get two for a dollar and it's super cute and it will hold a fair amount of candy and, you know, a gift card. Now. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is back in the theaters. And I don't think these are supposed to be Beetlejuice socks, but they are 100% Beetlejuice socks. Um, I, I got these because I actually have black and white striped pajama, so, pajama pants for, and a Halloween pajamas. Um, but I, my feet get cold sometimes, especially traveling. So I think I'm going to keep these because I can wear them in my cabin also in the hotel room that I'm staying at because I do like to wear slipper socks in hotel rooms. I just don't let my feet on the floor. But um, I thought these were totes adorable and they're super soft, which is lovely. So these are for me to have. Okay, guys, I still got, I have more and there's more. Um, oh, <laughs> I got some Oxidol. It's just for my laundry. That's not exciting. I like it though, especially my work clothes that I wear when I work at football and stuff outdoors and I get kind of gross because the last few football games have been um, very, very cold. I found another one of the miniature pumpkins, but this one is the candy corn one. I have not found a white one in the small, which I'm looking for because I want to make a little miniature snowman but isn't that cute the little candy corn these are adorable um if i don't find the white i'll just spray paint this that's fine 
for the little one. I have the white and the big. But I thought this is just adorable. I just love them. And I bought a hat. And I want to see if it fits on there. Okay. A another hat. Let's see what is in here. Oh. <laughs> Food. I got some sauerkraut. This is great for your stomach. I will tell you, I put this in the refrigerator and I just take a few bites of it every day and it's like a probiotic. It's really not, I mean, it's really good for you if you like sauerkraut, which is a good thing I do because it's good for you. All right, here's another bag. Maybe I don't have the other hat. Hmm. Okay. Packing tape, um, if you follow me anywhere on social media, you know that I pulled out my planners for 2025. I've designed them and printed them, and they are actually seven cases of them are sitting right over here. And it, I ship them out, and when I need to ship to my wholesalers, I need packing tape. So I just grabbed these. These are perfect for me, perfect size. Um, also for opening boxes, I have one, but I can't find the replacement blades and I'm almost done with the blade that's in here. If you didn't know, you can, these blades that have the lines, when it's not being, and my old, other one's old, when they're not being sharp anymore, you take a pair of pliers and you snap the blade off at that line and then you get a fresh, sharp blade. But I open a lot of boxes this time of year, so I needed a new box cutter. Um, I just thought this was adorable. It is MK Outdoor Lighter. And it has a bear on it. And I thought it was adorable. For my... Oh, I should get one of these for... Well, maybe. For the Advent Box. But I think I have something else coming. December 1st Box. Okay. I found these back in my store. And... These little storage containers, I, I've been doing charms. Like I said, I've been doing like charm necklaces and bracelets and stuff. And it's these are nice to hold the jewelry findings. So like this little kit here comes with some chain, the jump beads, and then these little lobster claw hooks. And I can put them in different size contain these different containers and they fit inside with all the other beads and it just makes it easier for me to find what I need. So I grabbed another kit because I was out of this size. This little size jump ring is perfect for like small little crafty items. So I got that and actually I can do this. Put you away and you and you. Okay. I found this Global Beauty Youth Boost Brighten and Cool Eye Serum. I was looking for something. I use everyday hyaluronic acid on my face and moisturizer. But under my eyes have been getting kind of puffy in the morning and dark. So I wanted to see exactly Oh, it does have the silver roller ball. Mm, it smells good. Hey, that hurts. Oh, it feels nice. It's a serum. And it has a nice fragrance, but not like flowery or over. I want to see if it feels cooling. So you would just, I would, in the morning, rub it under my eyes. Hi. Hi. Come on. What do you need? I don't have anything for you. And then, call me crazy. This is Viva Spa. It is a micron needle facial roller. Am I really going to roll my face with this needle thing from the Dollar Tree? Mm, question mark. Now, the brand is not it's it's viva spa so it's not a dollar tree brand so i don't know if you'll have if they'll have this at every dollar tree i do get asked regularly why i say what the brand is and that's because if it's not a dollar tree brand it's hit or miss where you're gonna find them i mean i have one two three, four sometimes five regular dollar trees i will stop at on a on a cycle and I sometimes will only see something like this at one. 
okay. And there's some directions in there. I'm, I'm not rolling it on my face. It does come in this little protective case, which is lovely. I'm trying to get it open. Okay. I'm kind of afraid. I'm not going to lie. And then you... I mean, I feel that pokey. Yeah, we're gonna do some research on this, but it is a, my, I think you're supposed to rub it on your face. Is it like marinating meat or something? Like, is it gonna make my skin softer? I don't know. It's like a meat tenderizer. I am assuming that these directions are gonna answer all the questions that I have, so. But I'm just gonna throw it out there that there's a microderm roller thingy at the Dollar Tree. Take that for what it's worth. I'm just trying to keep it tidy over here. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm using it. I'm just saying it's it exists. Okay, and this is the last of what I picked up at the Dollar Tree today. I actually got this stuff on my way home from work. Oh no, I have some more stuff beside me. Um, I actually picked up this fun little candy dish. So, and it was $1.25 and these are little ghosts. Um, when I'm in Canada, I bring back candy for my team. Uh, just Canadian candy is different. So I bring it back and we will fill this bowl and they can take what they want. And then I can, you know, put this away. So I grabbed that for that candy. And then I found this Buckeyes sandwich holder which is nice again when I go to my part-time job it's always nice to have containers that um aren't expensive and that if I lose them I'm not going to be mad and I will make a little snack and put it in here for my lunch because typically on a football day I'm there about eight hours hi buddy and um I have to bring food for myself to eat because they don't really offer much at the stadium that I can have and then I found these. I got two because, and these are nice. Just a small little, again, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Um, if you're not familiar, there's a candy. It's called the Buckeye, and it is a peanut butter center di ouch, dipped in chocolate. And they're very common around here, and a lot of people sell them for fundraisers, and my co-manager is selling them for her church and I'm gonna buy two dozen and bring them in for my team. So I'm like, perfect, I can put them on here, wrap them up, take them in and then share them with my team and then I can just bring this home and wash it. And it's a Buckeye game. Also gift giving. If you do any kind of also making cookie trays and stuff like that. I'm liking the smaller size, especially for my age bracket and the friend groups that I have. Because we all are not trying to eat too much candy and sweets. Okay, here we go. So, ouch, sir, I need you to stop that, please. I found these fuzzy beauty bags. This says beauty on it. I found them. I also found the jewel tone ones today that I saw other people selling or buying, but I don't need a bunch of makeup bags. So I grabbed, oops, sorry. I grabbed this. I actually grabbed two. Um, what I like, the inside is, it's like a, I'm not going to say it's waterproof, but it's definitely easy to clean up. It's lined. So the seams are all, um, hi, what are we doing? There's binding on all the seams, which is nice. I mean, that's a nice addition to a quality, to the quality of a product. So I grabbed two, one for me and one for my niece. And then I got, hi, sweetheart. Why don't you get down? Yeah. I picked up some makeup. Ow, ow. Okay, you're getting down. He is getting his nails trimmed tonight. Okay, so I got some makeup. And I don't typically buy Dollar Tree makeup, but I found some fun things. I found this blush, which I thought was super cute. And it is, what is the brand? Fabric Pour. Uh, oh no, made for, distributed by K7 Design. So it's perfect peach. And it's just, a, it's a nice, soft pink bleak, uh, blush stick, which I think would be great in the summer. That nice bright pink. 
So some blush. And then this is a Rare Beauty dupe. So Rare Beauty is a um, makeup line by Celine Gomez and her blushes come in these types of tubes. I love her blush and I will tell you, I get the little tubes and they last forever. Um, because I'm so pale and I wear sunblock all the time now, I've been putting some blush on. But this is a dupe and I did try it and it works fine. This is the second one I got. I was going to give it to my niece. Works fine. Then, oh, I got this because I needed a pencil sharpener and I couldn't find one. So I'm like, well, that has a pencil sharpener on it. And there's two. Um, back to my under eye situation. <laughs> I got some concealer. It says full coverage concealer now i don't hi i don't know what that means if it is used for like a blush like a foundation i don't know but it was nice and pale which i need for me although i think it's going to be a little too orangey maybe i'll have to see but it you just put it on and it it kind of rubs into like a powder. This might be a little too dark for me still. <laughs> I'm pale, people. I can't help it. But I wanted to try it on my under eye bags because we all need that in life. Oh, I also got these. Now these were in these are nail art tools, but they you can use them when you're doing painting. You see those balls on the tip? If you need to make polka dots or any type of precision dots, you can use these with your craft paint and I love them. And so I grabbed a couple, I grabbed this pack to put in with my painting supplies. Especially if you wanna paint like on a rock or something, that is fantastic to get those perfect circles. Mm. Okay, a couple of things left. Um, I don't know how many of each I picked up. Oh, apparently I got three of this one. I must have really been liking this. Um, I'll give it one to my cousin, but these are just shimmery lip glosses, but they're Disney. And that's what I'm getting excited for is the finding all the Disney stuff because we love Disney in my house. So this is Disney Princess Shimmer Lip Gloss and it is made by Disney. Now these are packaged for the Dollar Tree. So I'm assuming it's not like an overrun and they should be at different stores. And then I grabbed two of this one. This is the Alice in Wonderland lip gloss. I liked the color, but what I do with these tubes, I put a ring through that white, and then I add my bling to it, like a charm, and they dangle from these. So I'm gonna actually make this for Sarah, but I'm gonna take it out of its packaging, and I'm going to hang some bling on it for her, because I think that's fun. And that is everything that I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I'm getting excited because I saw Christmas at one store. Now, it's the ornaments that they bring back every single year, so there was nothing exciting, but I'm going to walk in one day and there's going to be something exciting. All right, friends, that is everything that I got this week. I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later.